Good morning, boss. Hi, good morning, man. Everything cool? So far. That's one of the Masai warriors, huh? Yeah. Them guys sure get around, don't they? Kind of good, huh? <laughs> So, boss, how far do you think they are? Doesn't matter, man. We're almost there. That look like his? I guess so. Yeah, close enough. You sure your friend will let us use his tunnels? No problem. Captain Morgan and I go way back. I can't believe how someone so uncivilized becomes so damn right respectful. I mean, when we came here, we was just kids playing cowboys and Indians, learning to survive and trying to make a quick buck. We were hiding guns for the rebels in some of the mines and tunnels he's working in now. Those rebels kept calling him captain for some damn reason. Name just stuck. Got your game face on? Yeah, you always do. Don't worry, we'll get past these gentlemen. Do it for love, for country, but mostly for money. <laughs> Not Morgan. No way, man. It's different for him. It's more for respect for the people and himself. He's the diamond among the rough. Hey, fellas, we got our work cut out for us here, okay? The, the water table's dropping, but it's making the dollar mark dry up fast. We gotta pump in some cement here before it goes brittle and collapses, and we better do it on number seven as well, just to be safe. Come on! We got it right here. Right here. Look. I'm not right to Balana. Man, man. Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess me up, man. I understand you're a dick. Now you read, man. Get off my case now. I'm gonna pump out your headlights, man. No, you listen to me, man. Yo, I'm Scotch. Captain Morgan. Oh my God. What's up? How you doing, man? Hi, bro. Now, don't you feel like a fool man treating me so bad? See, he and me are friends, all right? It's like me and the captain. We're tight. Yeah, friends like you. Who, Who needs, needs enemas? enemas? Basically, yeah. this guy needs an enema. I'm about to give him one of the shrapnel Be kind. Drive. This is my associate. Man, it's punk, man. Give the Prozac a fighting chance, will you? You gotta read that label. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, man. All right, what's in the truck? Don't even. Nothing. A couple scuds. Scuds? It's disgusting. Hey, I missed you. I, I thought you kept in the North Mines, uh, messed around up there, no? Bullshit. I did. What is this? I don't know. It's legit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got it signed by the minister of what's your who's it? The minister. Well, with my initials. Yeah. yeah. You forged my signature. That's, that's very ingenious. Yeah. 
You know everything comes in your responsibility. No. Babe, this is gonna come to you. All right, let's negotiate. Okay. okay. The usual, you know, case of red stripe. Case of red stripe, yeah. I got some stuff back, man. Don't you mean off the wagon? Man? Okay, I'm on the case. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill you, my good Get this shit out of here. All right, now hold your water, man, okay? Just trust me. You and I are gonna be richer. Six foot up a bull's ass. It's gonna be a ball. Toxic waste? 50-50. I'll give you 40-60 if you want it. What are you doing transporting this shit? Man, it's all right. No one's gonna get hurt. Just calm your It's toxic man. waste! It's not that toxic. You get this shit out of here. <laughs> what the hell is this? Friends of yours? Well, it used to be. Now she seems right pissed. Yeah, no shirt, Shitlock. What's going on? Kiss my ass, Chang. You come on a sport and ass, what? Oh, Chang, you've gone multinational on Yeah, I know no discrimination. Excuse me. Get out Keep peace, bro. Scott. Sorry. Get ready, Clifton. Help. Get the artillery, will you? Yes, sir. You just won't let go, will you? Car shelf a Buddhist. What are you doing to my plate? I said I was sorry, man. Got the next size up? Yep. Big and tall, bro. That'll fit. What'd you do to piss him off? He's an ex-business partner, and it's the ex he's not too happy about. Cover me! Now he's pissing me off! Damn it, man! Get this thing out of here! Where is he? There he is! Man, I feel a stone wall coming on. Yeah? Bring it on, you punk! Why do I miss this guy? Yeah, take that, man! Okay. Uh.
guys, man. Look what they did to my guy. New scenes of horror continue to multiply as the death toll rises in the small African nation of East Zambezi. The massive toxic spill has spread throughout the southern waterway, forcing government troops to break off their running battle with rebel forces in an attempt to quarantine the infected region. In this village alone, over a hundred fatalities have been recorded. Earlier today, the Zambezi Minister of State spoke at a press conference held in the capital. We are still searching for the source. But we know who the guilty parties are. And believe me, they will not go unpunished, especially the US government and its agents who continue to permit and support such transport. They are the primary ones to blame. We hold them the most responsible for the crime against our people, our families, and our children. This man, American mining engineer Rick Morgan, was quickly hustled out of the country only hours ago. Mr. Morgan, the barrels causing the deaths of hundreds of people have not been found. Please tell us where they are. Sources close to the minister have confirmed that Mr. Morgan was in fact responsible for authorizing the toxic dumping. He was released to U.S. authorities after the American government reconfirmed its commitment to provide extensive financial aid to East Zambezi. Tracy Candle, New Media Network, East Zambezi. Not an easy man to find. Come to make him an offer. And you are? Maurice Dupont. I am a ministerial consultant to the Democratic Republic of East Zambezi. Really? Well, I've made it my policy to not be consulted by countries that try to execute me. Well, Mr. Morgan. It was your signature on the document. The government still holds you responsible. More than 1,000 villagers have died of toxic poisoning from the drums that you allowed in. Yeah, well, the chances of me hurting anyone in here are pretty slim, but seem to be increasing since your arrival. Personally, I believe your approval was forged. The man responsible, walk free. Mr. Jim Scott. You're about a year late and a life short, mister. Do you not wish to uh, clear your name, your reputation? You know, I lost both of those. Not you, not anyone. I'm going to get them back. Mr. Morgan, there were more than 20 drums on that truck. We don't know how many have corroded or have leaked. We need your help to find where the source is. You got the wrong man. The government is prepared to offer you amnesty. Release your frozen assets, including back pay. Now you're just funny. Oh, no. Jim Scott has survived. He lives somewhere deep in rebel territory. It's going to be harder for me to find Scott than for you.
10 years, I've watched this nation divide itself into socialism against capitalism, tribalism against nationalism, father against son, brother against brother. The industrial nations, they send in millions of dollars without understanding a thing about the third world. They don't need a handout of money. They need expertise, people like you. There's somebody I gotta see. What else? Mr. Jack Daniels. Mungile, sing a humbug. until six o'clock. What time is it at your end of the bar? Hey, this is the guy that dumped that toxic stuff in the river that killed all the villagers. All right, now, fellas, I don't want any trouble. Clientele hasn't changed. Ricky? You 
must be mad to come back here. You know, you're right. You always did charge too much. Look what you've done. I could lose my license for this, huh? You never had one to begin with. That's true, but it's a thought that counts. I thought they deport you. You know, so did I. I hear Jim Scott's alive. Uh, well, um, it's a... It's a rumor. Uh -huh. oh. Let him think you do this. You never pay me nothing. Filthy pig. Rebels have him. No one has seen him. He might as well be dead. And don't even think of going up there. He's full patrols, both sides. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to go up there. And the question is, are you gonna help me? It's not the same times, my friend. The war has escalated. The rebels have made major advances, and the government is ruthless. Well, it could be worse. The bar can be in rebel territory. You know, I have missed your logic. <laughs> Very classy. Passed out in the bartender's back room. Oh. Doctor, Kim Woods, want you to meet Rick Morgan. Dr. Woods has been hired from the World Health Organization. She's a respected researcher in contaminants. How do you do? I'll wait in the cafe. What are you? My best sausage. Thank you. Enjoy. soldiers to accompany you and Dr. Woods. Kim. Kim. Well, um, that won't be necessary. I do not think you'd realize how dangerous this country has become. I mean, it won't be necessary for uh, our contaminations expert here to uh, accompany me. Because uh, I don't need an assistant to find the drums. I'm not your assistant. Although it looks like you could use one. Say, I happen to be a member of Alcoholics Anonymous when I'm not drinking. What's your problem? I'm here to neutralize the mess you created. And I'm not looking forward to scouring the countryside with a washout. Especially one responsible for destroying an entire tribe of people. You better tell Miss National Geographic here that I don't think I'm going to help her with her science project. Call me when he passes out again. I'll be at the hotel. Well, I always hate the introductions. But I, I think that, that went rather well. You don't have to like her. Just work with her. Yeah, terrific. Where will you start? Scott can only have buried the drums in about a half a dozen places. All closed mines. I know you checked them all, but you may have missed a few stopes.
the casings have deteriorated. The U.S. reconnaissance satellite will zero in their flies to hush it. I've done my part. The road is closed. Landmines. Rebels? Quarantine. The water's poison. Keep an eye out for rebels. Catch up to him. Everyone's dead, madam. Stop. Stop! Are you not allowed here? to kill it. The poison's a terrible way for it to die. I'm fucking in. How long ago did this happen? The quarantine. Nine months. Are there any other villages like this along the river? There are many villages. No survivors. They are mass graves, and there are many more along the river. Hundreds of villagers are buried here.
Thanks. What is it? Africans never bury their dead in mass graves. Only murderers. And that bliss block they shot back there? It's about, what, six months old? Doing pretty good on poison water, don't you think? One out. Rebels. How long has this place been closed? About 10 years. It used to be the richest colonial mine before independence. It just ran out. So this is where you buried the drums? All right. This is my one and only speech, OK? I don't know where the drums are buried, because I didn't bury them. Now, personally, I hope we get lucky and we find them, because then you can do your job, whatever the hell that is, and I can go drink myself blind knowing I saved the world. Back door. You'll get over them. Keep away from the shaft on the left. This level's partially flooded. How come you know this place so long? Nice we had of inspections and development. Five-year contract for the whole region. That's very weird. What? This rock fault. What's on the other side? I don't know. You must have been a very thorough inspector. It's mad at me. Someone said charges to keep people out. Face. I'm not trying to be fresh. You didn't say you were. We well, didn't have to. What does that mean? I mean, since I met you, you've been giving me nothing but attitude. Personally, I'm a little sick of it. It's not serious. Good. It's clean. That's... Sure. That means the barrels aren't here. What the hell is this? A guided hunter. I know what it is. I mean, what are you doing? What do you think we're looking for? Toxic waste has nothing to do with radioactivity. No one ever said anything about radioactivity. You didn't know. No, I didn't know. What do you mean, you knew? Was there a death wish on the application form? 
I headed a team that developed a cloud of bacteria that can allow us to reduce radioactivity levels on contact. What, well, remember this? Yes. Good for you. A person that likes to be taken for a call. And I don't like to be treated like one of the usual suspects. It sucks, doesn't it? Can you walk? I think so. Because we're going to find out why DuPont's been giving us two different stories. Soldiers. Not a good sign. We got company. Slowly. Nice and easy. Let's go. But don't look up. Nice and easy. Good drive. Hands up! <laughs> You got a want me, man. He's my friend. Ain't you? Yeah. 
heard of Big Ashes back in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, it's, it's amazing the kind of riffraff they let in these days. <laughs> it's good to see you, Scott. Well, oh, that's not my name anymore, man. My name is Sando. I'm sorry? Sando. Sando. Oh. Yeah! oh, man. Let me rephrase that. You wouldn't mind calling me Shanto, would you? No, that'll work for me. I, uh, it's all right, Madumo. It's all right. Yeah, Madumo. I like it better when we used to hug. You got a lot of explaining to do, man. Honey, come on. Let me introduce you to family. Oh, sorry, it's family. Who's your girl? Oh, uh, uh, Kim. Hi, Kim. Come on through. Give me that. Hey, what's right, 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 right. Hold on one right. damn second. All right, Biggie. This thing goes with me everywhere. Come on, Kim. You got nine lives or something? <laughs> yeah, only got a couple left. And only one jaw, so watch out. Hey, there she is. There they are. This is my wife, Tebby. Our daughter, Scarlett. Savona. Savona. This is, uh, this is Morgan. Joe Wise, remember the one I told you about Cat Morgan? That's him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm going to say Yabong. Nampazua. Yabong. Yabong. That's so funny. <laughs> you know, she just, uh, said you were pretty. Yeah. Come on in. Uh, come on, take a seat. Down river, it's all rebel country. Let's go, go! Look out for rebels! So, what's the haps? I know why you're here. Uh, what's your agenda, ma'am? Uh, that's Dr. Kim Woods, the ever fashionable contaminations expert from the WHO. Oh, I see. All right, all right. So, what's who looking for and why? <laughs> What you buried? What I buried? What are you talking out of school, Morgan? You know what you buried. What you know about what I buried? You, you know, know something you I don't buried. know? Oh, yeah, easy, you two. Okay, we're on a mission searching for radioactive waste. You seen any lately? Nah, only thing you're gonna find waste is your time. Who's paying your ticket, Rick? I named DuPont. Pulled me out of a perfectly comfortable stupor. Oh, imagine that. Hey, double up the guard. Get to pass, okay? Check the roads. Might be trouble. Let me know, man. Okay. <sighs> Dupont. Class B scumbag. Guy shovels arms from North Korea via East Africa. You can thank him for half the carnage in this country. He's in it for the money. You see, he's partners with the fascist murderers who run this country, so watch your back. I'll remember to do that. Why is he looking for you? I don't know, man. You have to ask him, I guess, you know? Truth is, after Elvis died, I decided it was time for a life change. I'm not even the same person I was a year ago. Congratulations. Where are the drums? History. I took care of them, man. No one's ever going to find them puppies. They're leaking. Do you have any idea how many people have died? Leaking? No. I, I think you're misinformed. I think the only death you've seen is murder. Murder by contamination. Look, who? There's only one water source in this whole region. All the rest are tributaries. So let me ask you a question. How many of the villages upstream had no survivors? Rebel villages? That's right. Unprotected. Slaughtered. Use a scapegoat, man. You and our toxic drums. Our toxic drums. No, that's that's thank you for sharing. That's very generous. The toxic drums. All right. I didn't it's not my fault, man. I, yeah, they were about to hang me, goddamn. All right, man. We'll talk later when we're alone, okay? Yeah, why don't I gotta check the perimeter. You do that, Mowgli. Remember Libyan freighter that sunk off the coast about a year back? No. Why? Is that your supply ship? <laughs> oh, man, I got a call from an associate. He told me that freighter was going to be in the Indian Ocean on its way to North Korea to deliver some Russian subparts. Parts? We're not talking periscopes here. No, we're talking enriched uranium rods <laughs> worth many, many millions. Anyways, I figured, why not intercept the freighter, take those rods, 
stash them in a toxic drum and build myself a little nest egg. Uh, the company doesn't exactly give you a retirement fund, so I just kind of took it upon myself. You're not my coconut pirate. You're a CIA spook for the Indian Ocean, aren't yeah. you? Oh Been a family business since the war, man. 50 years of tradition. Now, you should thank them. They're the ones who got your ass out of here alive instead of in a body bag of your back. The truth is, they're pretty damn pissed off at me. They definitely would have killed me if they didn't think I was already dead, so you wouldn't mind. Only you and Nando know. And DuPont. DuPont, man, that dumbass frog. You know, I'll say one thing in his defense. At least he wears his bullshit on his sleeve. We promised the American dream, and we deliver total destruction. Go home, Rick. You didn't commit no crime, man. Now get the hell out of Dodge so they can open up a can of whoop ass and give you the first helping. Get the kids in the bunker! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, Tell me! You got a piece? Come on! You got a piece? Over here! They set you up! Man, I didn't know. Madumo, get the women up the high village. Shut we'll get my gun! Right, right get the jeep. What's going get on? The jeep. Get the jeep. Stay low. Stay low. Get the jeep. mine but you will disappoint me you hurt my feelings what feelings <clears throat> who wants you back all this time it's using the spook material giant Counter-attacking. Back to the boats. Back to the boats. Boat. See you in the next life.
hated him. You know? I hated him for setting me up. I hated him for, for letting everyone think I killed a thousand people. I hated him for pretending he was dead. Now that he is, I still hate him. I think I owe you an apology. I was wrong about you. Ah, uh, skip it. People are never what they're made out to be. Let's go to the hotel. Everything you need. Let's get out of here. Well, I need some shower. What's that? Yeah. See you downstairs. doing in my room I was worried what happened to you where have you been falling down mine shafts did you find anything oh the usual murder deception greed oh you've been talking to Mr. Morgan I told you he's a drunken liar the only liar I've met so far is you no one's dead from radioactive or toxic waste I quit oh I see you quit huh Unfortunately, you cannot just quit. I have paid you a great deal of money to bring you here. That's your problem. Now get out of my room before I call security. As you wish. here must have used all the hot water Morning. Have a nice nap. You're making a big mistake, Morgan. If you kill me, they will not hang you. They'll execute you. Oh, say, that's much worse. Either way, I'm real sorry. You're gonna miss it. Relax, Morgan. We are, for better or worse, partners now. Without me, you too. Do not 
get out of Zambezi alive. Glad we understand one another. I didn't lie to you, Dr. Woods. The shipment, it is radioactive. But it hasn't leaked. Well, there are no signs yet. The shipment came in temporary crates designed to disintegrate in about one year for environmental reasons. Hm. Ironic, isn't it? Then we're sitting on another Chernobyl. Who's the agent, Popeye? Mr. Chen. He's a rogue agent. Selling to the North Koreans. Between us, he's behind everything. I only did it to avoid an international incident. Oh, what a diplomat. And all those dead in the village? Oh, no, 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 no. That was the military's doing. Wake up, kids. This country is in a civil war. They're entitled to a few atrocities, huh? Guess who? It's uh, about time. Would you be kind enough to untie me, please? Asshole on the Oh, Scott is dead. You saw him. Yeah, right before the Chang gang wasted his village. Now, he told me to tell you to tell his uncle that his daughter's got to go to college. Now, what the hell does that mean? Sam, lock the back door. What the hell is that? Nick, what else did Scott tell you? Your line of work and what he buried. Where is it? He said only two people know where he hid it. Who? You are number two. Nick, you must find it. If it falls in the wrong hands or become exposed, it could bury us all. Buried. Buried that son of a bitch. Without saying goodbye, how rude. In honor of closing of your bar, let me propose a touch still. <laughs> to the CIA.
I'm sorry about this, but no one's gonna follow us up this way. I can't believe Scott carried the drums up here. Don't worry, he didn't. <laughs> There's a road up on top. But unfortunately, the entrance is behind the falls. Entrance? Entrance to what? Scott and I hosted many a rave in here. Yeah? Yeah. There used to be the DJ booth over there. I don't believe it. What? I don't believe it. He sealed it. There, there's an alcove in here. It's like 20 feet deep. No. It's too hot. Ten minutes in there and you'll bake every atom in your body. He's right. What took you? Just paying my last respects to Nando. Why do you keep popping up in all the wrong places? I'd love to tell you I'm psychic. Compliments to DuPont. Not North Korean, you sound American. 100% born and raised. Wondering how I sail out in my own country. You ever hear of Rockefeller? Carnegie? Well, it's Chang's turn. I'm gonna make a killing. took care of that. He served his purpose. I wonder Scott never trusted you.
right, let's go. Now just you, Morgan. Give me a flashlight. You'll be glowing in five minutes anyway. We're out of here. Get the hell out of me. <laughs> you are very much like Scott. Always in over your head. <laughs> Come on, you've got a train to catch. Seven, eight, nine, thousand. Just Mr. DuPont promise. Okay, we all set? For you. Good doing business with you. Right. Let's go! The station is here, and our forces have taken over all the roads leading to the river. There is no escape for them except by train. Had a good look? Beat it.
train for his troops across the plains, through the mountain pass. There is no other stop until Port City. <laughs> Once they get past the old mine site, they are in government-controlled territory. What about the old copper line there? Oh, no. We blew the railway line months ago. It's totally useless. No, that's, that's totally useful. See? We divert the train onto the old copper line, and, and they're not going to get to Port City. Get hold of Scott's uncle at the CIA? Yep. All right. Better get your men ready. How fast can you ride?
check on Andres. Yeah, boy. You shit! What took you so long, boy wonder? Sorry, I'm late. In three miles, this train and everything on it are history. You and I know the rods will irradiate the whole area. They'll never survive an explosion. They won't have to. Go up and help Maduma unhook the car. Go! So smart. Everybody's dirty. It all ends up in the same place. Somebody's bank account. Scott. You're wrong, Chang. Scott didn't sell out. Takes to play in my world.
Ha, ha, ha.